deal. Well, tonight in 7 News flashback, E-Day in Queensland. The arrival of electric trains was a breath of fresh air. For the first time, Queensland commuters enjoyed air conditioning on the go. Rod Young reports. Joe Bjorka Peterson speaking. How did you get to and from work? To and from the shops? To and from school today? In Brisbane, you would have travelled either by train, by bus, or by car. This was E-Day 1979. There was also a pass through by a steam locomotive carrying scores of enthusiasts who adore the old puffing billies. More than uh, just the starting of a, of a service, a short service, ladies and gentlemen. We know that it, it's a foretaste of things which are to come. The Premier powered the official electric train through the ribbon and then with his guests inspected the 34 kilometre electric route from Dara through 24 stations to Fernie Grove. Electric trains were popular from day one faster than diesels and air conditioned. In 1979 when they first came in there was a problem of overcrowding because people would deliberately let other trains go through with stainless steel carriages or the wooden carriages so they could actually hold on one of the new air conditioned trains. Ipswich followed in 1980. Everybody supported electric trains except Railway Station Officers Union Secretary Peter Beatty that it was hypocritical to spend so much money on electrification when so many railway employees still lived in substandard railway housing. And now the NGR, or next generation rolling stock, is about to hit the track in South East Queensland. Built in India, they're arriving by ship. After being unwrapped at the port of Brisbane, a diesel tows them to Ipswich. At Woolcaracker, a brand new maintenance facility has been built. 75 six-car units are on order. Each has a toilet and baby change facilities. high back seats offer increased crash safety. The government says after testing, they'll be on track before the end of the year. Surprisingly, the original electric trains from 1979 are still in service. You expect fast, efficient, comfortable transport. Providing it is one of the major tasks being tackled 